Hello everyone, welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. This is the demo version because I, yeah, don't have the money for the current version actually. Real cheap, recently got greenlit on Steam though, so hopefully I might be able to get it when I get my chances. Let's dive into this, I'm going to rip this game apart, Frezzy Fazbear's Pizza, looking for a, night, a guard, or a security guard to work the night shift. So this should be fun. Now, I've done my research on this game, and, um, I don't want to ruin the magic too much, but I literally know quite a bit, as in quite a lot, as in, um, yeah, <laughs> when, you, when it comes to the point where you s I can understand how the fear works, you know, doesn't mean that it's not creepy to me, but I can certainly, uh, what's the word, piss off a few people by um, explaining the fears just quickly yet yeah, the phone's ringing hello oh hello hello, hello there yep oh really ah uh, that's good news Yeah. I don't know why I'm talking to a pre-recorded message. Is it pre-recorded? Uh, yeah, I'll spoil that now. It's pre-recorded. I've got to do this. I'm sorry. I love that noise. Anyway, I shouldn't be looking at the cameras because it's going to waste energy. I can't whistle, because... There's a circus in town! There's a circus in town, kids! Oh, boy! I'm sorry. I'm really... <laughs> quirky? You call that quirky? Chris, they look horrifying. <laughs> well, why don't you, you know, give them a scrub from time to time? You know. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gap it back. Dun dun dun. Lovely. Give you a clue, without the frontal lobe, the human becomes nothing more than a vegetable. Poor person, whether a girl, guy, kid, or adult, that's ruined their day. No, that's ruined more than their day, that's ruined their life. Jesus. Pretty Frasbear. I should probably get in some facts. Lost. This guy's talking, because there's not going to be much going on. Um, okay, so look at the poster quickly. Celebrate. On the far... I have to think for a second, because I get confused with left and right. On the far left, the rabbit-like creature is called Bonnie. Then it goes Freddy, who Freddy Frazbear. And then it goes Chica. Oh, I think it's Chica. Chica? Chica? Chica! <laughs> Chica the chicken. Duck. Uh, bird of some kind. We don't entirely know. Oh, hello. Bonnie's moved. Hi, Bonnie. He normally goes backstage. Just turn the camera off because wastes quite a bit of electricity. We only have a limited amount of power. We have to survive until 6 a.m. And someone did the maths, and I think at every eight minutes or so is when the, um, Changes, but I think it's less than mine. I think it might be every so many minutes. But yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's has been trending for a bit, and it's a very unique horror game I'm using a point-and-click system. The, uh, in case you want to actually fear this game, please um, mute for about half an hour 
because I will ramble on about the system of this game, the core mechanics, and how the scares are scary. Everyone who wanted to enjoy the horrors left? Good! Okay, for all you technical nuts, the AI basically, or the game forces you into a trapped box. You can do nothing but wait for your impending doom. Hello! That actually scared me, because I, I expected him to just move, not actually zoom into the camera. Um, oh, Bonnie, you little bastard. Yeah, see? But, um, <laughs> basically, it forces you to watch your impending doom, not able to do anything but postpone it. For if you run out of power, you can lock the doors. Oh, no, if you run out of power, that is it, game over. You can lock the doors, you can use the lights, you can use the cameras, but everything you do eventually will pend your doom. No matter what you do, I'm actually probably meant to save a bit more power because, um, we're only three hours, or well, three minutes, or well, don't know how long we're into this, but the time up here says 3 a.m. Okay, check on Ducky. Chica! But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the AI, they've programmed three, I don't know if they've programmed three separate AI or one AI to do three separate jobs, because this is all, uh, s flat screens. These are, I think, JPEGs or probably PNGs. Uh, that uh, displays images and the animations are separate things. Um, I don't know if they're GIFs, I don't know what they are, but they play depending on the AI. And hello, Chica. Dun dun dun. Nobody will get that. Where did Bunny go? Hello, Freddy. Where did Bunny go? Bunny's gone somewhere. I don't like it. Oh, there you are. They sometimes do that. They sometimes go seriously missing for like half a few seconds or so, and I don't like it. No one's down the hallway yet. I'm just quickly get my lights because I don't like this sometimes. Uh, I swear the AI overlaps sometimes as well. So, for example, Bonnie, I can't see. There he is. But sometimes the AI seems to be a bit strange. I know what Bonnie's going to do. He's going to come towards my door soon. So as soon as I see this flicker or cough, I'm going to close that door because Bonnie's like that. Now, talking about the one or three AIs, Bonnie will always be the first one at your door. Chica will try to distract you and come up the right corridor. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> the right corridor. Um, Bonnie will always be at the left corridor. I'm going to close that now, because we've got enough power to actually survive the night. Might just flip through the cameras a bit. Because Chica's moved. Chica, where are you? Might be in the kitchen, hold on. Yeah, in the kitchen. It doesn't matter, though. To be honest, I can do this now, because... I got really lucky with the AL tonight on this. Probably open that door actually, because Chica won't. Hmm. Don't know where Chica went. Chica was in the kitchen. I uh, might as well close that. Just quickly check. Yeah, Chica's still in the kitchen. So. I can't really say about the other characters because there's the three that default here Freddy, um, Bonnie and Chica and then there's two others one of them I can explain now because we're on the second day all the kids say hooray because we survived but um yeah now I can explain Foxy or Pirate Coves and called his actual name is Foxy, and it is a he, the character specifically said it in a post, which talks about the different characteristics of the AI and the game mechanics. Forgive me on the rant, just want to point that out. We don't know about Chica, we guess Bonnie's male because it's a bow tie, and we guess Freddy's male because Freddy, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> now. 
tire there again. Yeah, I did. This is normally the day I die at because um, I haven't properly tried playing it for day two. Normally when he says that, this camera goes, so I just want to see. Yep, there we go. Dining room? Yep, dining room. Oh, that's Chica. The duck's moving first. want to keep looking at Pirate Cove as well occasionally, because if you stare at him too long, he comes out. If you don't use the cameras for long enough, he comes out as well. Oh, Bonnie's gone. Hello. Just checking. This is what I say about the AI overlap. Chica's clearly here. Bonnie isn't. My only guess? Bonnie is here, but... or, or something. Hold on. There's Bonnie now. So Bonnie was here, but he then moved here. That's what I mean by the AI overlapping, I think. Because sometimes you can clearly not find them at all. And it's just like, mm, well, I'm guessing they would be there because that's the closest movement and the normal movement uh, for the AI. I love that. <laughs> now, I um, don't know if I can show off the other character, but I'll try and show off... Um, Bonnie Chico I'm currently showing off. Uh, Foxy might peek out the curtains. Might do a little peeky doos. Give me back my camera. Yep, there's Bonnie. Chica's still there. Bonnie's still there. But yeah, so it's really just dependent on how you can serve your power. And forgive me if it's disorientating each time that I raise this, but it's cheaper to s just quick glance. Uh oh, hi there. That's what he meant about the door lights. I can relax a bit. So I'm just moving back. Hold on, I need to move some stuff. Ah, there we go. So that's what he meant about checking the door lights. Um, Bonnie's now there, so I can open this. Oh, he's gone again. Hi, Bonnie. Just every now and then, check to see where he goes. I'm going to close that now just so I can check for Chica, who's probably in the kitchen. Or, no. You in the kitchen, Chica? Chica? Ah, there you are. Moving around the kitchen. <clears throat> if I do fail tonight, because I know that I normally do, because uh, I don't conserve power very well. Bones are there. Ah, just raise that one up. Come on, click. Click. Thank you. Oh, he's... He's probably behind the door, or in the cupboard, because he does fake you out. But, um... Where'd he go? Well, movement again. But the AI, yeah, like I say, seems occasionally a bit strange when they do things. Oh, hello, all the animatronics and Freddy looking at me. Lovely. Oh. Well, that's more fun. Poster just changed. <coughs> Oh, there's Bonnie. Just occasionally check here. Now, I normally don't survive this night just because I'm an idiot who tends to um, enjoy the game mechanics more and looking for, like, different things. I mean, I've seen most of the scenes, but there's still occasionally things that I would like to see. Namely, um, no, oh, Bonnie's gone again. Down the hall. <clears throat> Just keep checking this occasionally. 
check to see where Chica is. Chica's there. So I might close that. Close that for a bit. Actually, no, because Bonnie is still down there. Now Bonnie's here. No? Well, don't care. Till I see where he is, I'm not going to open those doors. <coughs> now, I don't conserve power at all. Yeah, he's there. Chica, where are you? You're still there. I'm going to open that for now. I haven't actually seen the duck kill me, I don't think. So I might... I might want to get killed by Chica. But I'm not entirely sure. Hey there! Buddy! Let's see! Where'd Bonnie go? No. Bonnie's not there. Chica's not there. If only it was 5am. Because I could probably do the stalling tactic. Ah, I can save a bit of power now. Um, hi Chica. Just give you a quick look at her. There you go. Ah, I'm gonna lose this one. So what I'm gonna do, unplug my headphones. I normally do this because the loud noises, I hate loud noises. However, I can deal with the jump scare just fine. It's just the thing. Jamie couldn't see, um, oh there's, there he is, Pirate Cove. Anyway, I've lost this round, but uh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Death really isn't a percussion in this game. If you stay still, uh, you can actually postpone the death sequence quite a bit. So, basically, you play dead. Oh, damn it. Didn't get any water. Oh, well. Got a cold cup of tea here. I guess that will have to do. Oh. Hi, Freddy. How's your day been? Yeah, mine has been good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just mock this game at times, though. Well, sometimes jump scares are a bit, you know, sudden, to say the least. I mean, this now coming up. Bang. Yep. See? I just predict, and I manage to guess when Freddy pops up. Every time, for some reason. I don't know what it is. I just... Yeah, this is stalling. This is stalling. Okay, now he's about to bang, you know. And then he pops up. <clears throat> Put my headphones back in now. And, uh, yeah, we lost. But it doesn't matter. Shall we try again? I want to show you Pirate Cove. So what I'm going to do? I'm not going to touch the camera at all. going to let Pirate Cove catch me. Because, what the hey, it's fun. So, I might actually try properly the time. But, um, <clears throat> you know. I never see the power thing start you at 100%. I don't know if it's changed, or if I'm just going nutty. But that's the thing. I want to try cloaking something, hold on. Nope, okay. I can't actually turn the fan off, which would be probably a reasonable idea. Okay, Bonnie's down the hallway already. <clears throat> but uh, the AI is quite smart in this game. AI is really smart, and the simple point-click feature mechanic. I mean, some people be confused on how the game works, and I've just picked it up very quickly, and I thought it was very simple. And I think it's because it is nothing more than a point-and-click. You don't use arrows, you don't use, um, you don't walk around the halls, you don't, you know, do all that sort of stuff. That's just it. That's the game. You know, so in my eyes, Christ, Pirate Cove already coming out. Uh, in my eyes, that's a simple game that works effectively. And now, ripping part of the game again. Uh, basically, it leads you into a point where you you can't do anything but postpone your death. That's inedible until you stall for enough time to either win or lose. This causes you to panic, using up more energy. Or possibly the AI, you know, actually trying to get you. It fakes you out at times to make you waste more energy. And it really is quite fun. In a disturbing kind of way. Chica's there. Bonnie's there. The AI always seems aggressive to me at night two. I've never won night two on the demo. Because, um... 
I don't know reasons really. But it's a brilliant strategy, brilliant idea of how to get horror in a horror game. Make sure the player has nowhere near any power to do anything. Yes, that's me panicking because I like to know where they are. Not in the supply closet. Yeah, so it's basically behind the door. He'll probably jump to the supply closet in a minute or behind the door. Or to the door or something. Uh, yeah, he's jumped to the supply closet. I see you, uh, you're not fooling anyone. Once he moves, I'm closing that door again. Another good way to uh, figure out things. Uh, if I quickly check Pirate Booth. Uh, another quick way, I think. Oh, 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 yep, he's at the door. Hi there. You can actually leave the light on him. I think he's gone already. Yeah. He just flickered and went. And he is. I don't know where. Hold on. He might still be there. No. I'm a bit confused because, um. This is what I mean by the AI sometimes really confusing the player. Whoa, Cheeky, you move quick. Won't you just... De huh? Okay. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so the AI sometimes does overlay and it takes a second for it to realize that it's overlaid, I think. But overall, the game is brilliant. And no, this isn't a mech gaming. This is just me ripping up the game for my own enjoyment. Um, I do this because um, two reasons. One, it helps me feel comfortable with the game knowing what the game is. So for example, um, game design wise, you know, what's the science behind it? Why do the characters look like this? Why do the aesthetics, why this point click system? You know, just things like that. I know it's really geeky and crap, but uh, I wouldn't be going into game design if I didn't take these sort of things into account. Um, can't really show you the easter eggs, sadly, but there is a little backstory lore to all this. And, um, talks about, basically, after the bait of 89, there was an incident. Uh, yeah, there's Bonnie. He's coming down, uh, to the hallway. There was, after the bite of 89, people believed there was an incident that involved um, several kids being killed and stuffed into these suits. Uh, there's been reports of which uh, blood and mucus has been pouring out of the eye socket's mouth and so on. This is all grim details, but um, it has quite a good story in a disturbing kind of way. Whilst it's not, I, I still don't believe that the animatronics are hauntings or are these children uh, as ghosts. I still don't believe that. People have theorized that they, these things are like the children because of um, the whole fact that they the, the animatronics try to kill the security guard each time or oh, constantly. Well. Um, who would be the only person that could get into the back room to dress up as Fuzzy Fazbear, which is what's quoted in the, um, there's like a note here, uh, that changes and says about news articles. I think Chica's in the kitchen, yeah. But, um, basically, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to focus as well, because I want to try and survive as long as I can. The... God, I lost my train of thought. The game's history... Oh, hello. <laughs> that got me. And that's why I normally take my headphones off. Um, he moved quick. He normally only moves two spaces. I guess he moved three because I took too long. Yeah, it's probably because when the channel clicks. Huh. Oh, well. I'm going to end this video. And ramble about this some other time. Probably do a mech gaming on it. And if I actually get the full game, probably try and complete this. This is a brilliant game. Pretty cheap. Pick it up on Steam or um, the oh, the Durisma. I can't pronounce the website's name. I'm sorry. My pronunciation, all that sort of stuff, is rubbish. Hope you have a good day.
hope this scared you or uh, enlightened you of how the game works. Uh, I might play some more some other time. Have a good day all. Peace.